Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, apologies for the lighting. I'm filming this at like, I think nine o'clock at night. So I just want to get this done because it's failed on me so many. It's just been out of focus and all that. So I'm just hoping this works. So today I am looking at my masks. So treatments and stuff for your skin. Um, I've got a few products here I want to go through with you guys. Um, and yeah, so before I go into the actual products itself, I just want to have a quick chat with you guys about why I use um, masks and how often I use them, that sort of thing for it. So first hot tip I like to give to you guys is when you're doing a face treatment or a face mask, don't just restrict it to this part, but also look at your neck and your decollete area as well because if you're looking at fighting it like uh, doing anti-aging products and stuff like that sure you can make this all nice and young and youthful but as soon as someone looks down and sees this bit they're gonna see a difference in there if you're not putting your serums and creams and mask down there because unless you're wearing a turtleneck everyone's gonna see it and you can't wear a turtleneck all year so let's jump right into the products so let's first probably I'll talk about the one that I use the most and that will be a hydrating mask because my skin does tend to lean towards the dry dehydrated um, area and it's my fault because I know I don't drink enough water. Um, but so when my skin is feeling a bit dry and dehydrated what I like to use is the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. It contains one of my favorite one, um skincare um, ingredients and if you watch my blog watch my blog read my blog you'd know I mention all about it all the time when it comes to hydration and that's the hyaluronic acid in it so it basically just sucks in all the moisture um, so any creams and stuff that you pop on later will absorb and hold its um, properties better as well this also contains vitamins in it, so it contains vitamin A, C, E and B5 as well to give your skin a bit of radiance and help repair any damage to the skin. I like to carry this with my um, travel skincare, so if I'm on a long haul flight or something like that, this will be in my bag and I use it on the plane mentioning about that the good thing about this mask is it's absolutely clear it's a gel clear um, mask so when you pop it on no one can tell that you're having a mask you may look a little bit wet or greasy on the face but no one really notices and then you just wash it off and you've got nice hydrated skin there the next hydrating mask I use is the Clinique one and these are eye masks um, they're pre-moistened pads that you just pop under your eye here for five to ten minutes I normally just leave it on until it's about almost completely dried and then just pat underneath there so that you really get the skin to absorb it um, unfortunately I don't know if these are still being sold anymore or if they're discontinued I try to repurchase because I'm down to my last um, one now and I can't seem to find it so I found a couple online stores still have them. I haven't purchased with them before, so I'm not entirely sure. So for you oily girls out there who tends to have clogged pores, breakouts and that, um, I've got a couple of masks here. So we'll go with the cheapest one first, um, the most budget friendly, and that will be the Neutrogena Rapid 2-in-1 mask. So it's a 2-in-1, so you can use it quickly um, as a face wash or a leave it on for five minutes and use it as a mask. So this contains kaolin and bentonite, which is the clays that you want to use for your skin to help unclog and declog your pores or help get rid of breakouts. So it's a really nice cheap one. My other one that I like to use that's on the expensive side is the uh, Eve Lom um, Rescue Mask. I didn't actually purchase this. This was actually in as a kit with my Eve Lom the cleansing balm as well as the morning cleanser so this was um, just in with it but I really quite like it it is also um, clay kaolin clay in it but it also has a bit of a grittier texture to it like it has dry flakes of clay in it so when you pop it on and then it dries down 
when you're actually trying to wash it off with a wipe it off with a muslin cloth those dry bits of clay actually acts as exfoliating um, particles to help exfoliate just dead skin away so it's quite a nice product there. it does have a eucalyptus smell to it from memory yeah it's kind of got a eucalyptus it reminds me a bit of the yuki rub so one of my favorite masks clay mask to use is this skin suitable um, clarifying clay mask it's probably also one of the most expensive I think it's around about 50 to 60 dollars for this tub but a little goes a long way um, as of a much thicker texture um, while the other two has a bit of a uh, more fluid creamier texture so it's very thick in texture and so it does have a little bit more um, doesn't have as much slip to spread on your face there it contains kaolin and bentonite cream. It also contains aloe vera to help soothe um, any active breakouts you have. In saying that, you can also use it, um, any of these masks, for um, more of a spot treatment area because not everyone can say, I'm a complete oily girl. You may have an oily T-zone, but then really dry and dehydrated on the cheeks. So you can just pop the mask wherever you need to as well. Um, so sometimes I use it as a spot treatment if I'm having a little bit of a breakout as well. Um, what else? The skin suitable also contains AHA, which is a chemical exfoliant um, one, and what I prefer to use to exfoliate my skin instead of actual using scrubs. Um, just I feel that it's less abrasive on the skin. So it contains AHAs and BHAs, they're salicylic acids for um, acne girls out there as well as your regular like lactic acid, glycolic acids um, in part to help exfoliate and remove a dead skin. So that's a really nice product. Now on to exfoliating kind of facial masks. So I've got two different exfoliating masks to talk about or treatments. The first one is a Asian Korean Malloy Apple Detox. It comes in this little green apple um, thing here. Um, it's a really nice product. It comes with direction as a little leaf thing, but it's all in Korean. So I had to YouTube or Google how to use this product. Long story short, um, it's basically you put the cream on your face and you massage it into your face. It's kind of a little gross because um, I'll tell you why. While you're massaging it, it's actually exfoliating the skin and it actually brings up um, dead skin cells. So it starts boiling up in these little balls and peeling off your face and, that, and that's actually your dead skin cells. Um, but it's actually, it's gross but also at the same time very satisfying because you're like, oh look at all this dead skin it's eating, it's actually working. So that's how I feel about it. But um, it's a really nice product. It's cheap as well. I think it was only about like $20 um, Australian to buy it. And um, after you do that, you just leave it on. You can leave it on for another five, 10 minutes or just wash it off straight away once you're done playing with your dead skin. Ingredients wise, it I looked it up. It contains AHA, so lactic acid, glycolic acid in there to do that chemical exfoliating um, to pull away the dead skin. Um, but it also contains vitamins in it. So it contains vitamin A, C, E. Um, oh. So it contains vitamins in it, so vitamins A, um, B, and C and E as well. So it also adds a bit of exfoliating as well as a bit of nutrients into your skin. So it's a nice combo one there. Exfoliating cream that um cream mask I like to use, and it's probably one of the first exfoliating mask when I discovered AHAs and BHAs is the Dermalogica Gentle Cream Exfoliant. Um, it's a white um, mask and it basically contains AHAs um, and BHAs to help exfoliate your skin there um, and it just basically eats away all the dead skin um, with it. So what I like to do on a real treatment day and I have time, I use this first to exfoliate and get rid of all the dead skin and then use my Dermalogica hydrating mask after it to restore any moisture after all that fresh skin is out and showing so that's a nice combo I like to use when I have a bit of time next up is vitamin um, masks for you to add that um, vibrance and energy um, back into your skin so if you're feeling a bit dull lackluster in the skin um, a vitamin um, treatment would be a good so for a quick pick-me-up 
one where I don't have that much time, I like to use the Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. It contains vitamin C, which is good just to bring vibrance and energy back into your life. Um, what's really cool and different about this mask is it actually a foaming mask. So you have your skin wet already and then you pop it on, massage it in, watch it foam, and then just leave it until the full foam forms which can take three to four minutes and then you just rinse it off so I normally pop it on rub it in quickly let it start foaming and then go do something else like I might go put a pot of coffee on brush my teeth in the morning um, pick up my clothes something real quick like that just a quick pick me up and then continue with my regular skincare routine if I want something a little bit more intense um, and I have a bit more time I'll use the Dermalogica power recovery mask so this is as the name says contains different vitamins in it so it has a c e and f as well as b5 to help repair damage so a helps with moisture and um, retaining moisture while c helps with um, radiance and brightening vitamin e is your normal thing that you find in moisturizing cream so a bit of nutrients and moisture as well there so it's a really nice cream it kind of smells a bit bananary a bit fruity to me um, but it's a really good um, boost in your skin for radiance and vibrance last one is my most expensive face mask I have ever purchased and it's the Sicily black rose face mask um, it's instant youth smoothing plumping and brightening um, I'm not exactly sure what's in it but I love it I love it for the smell for the way it makes my skin feel and look after I use it because um, it's so expensive I use it quite sparingly and I reserve it for special occasions so if I know I'm going out for a special event like a wedding or something like that I'll use this um, before it and I leave it on as long as possible like it says 10 to 15 I'll probably leave it for 15 to 20 minutes just want to really suck up everything it has a really nice strong rose scent so if you're not a rose fan um, I wouldn't go near this but um, yeah I think this cost me around about $140 for this um, 60 ml tube but I've used it a couple of times and I really like the results of it um, and we'll continue to use it so that's all guys from the mask perspectives of what mask I use I use a different one each day depending on what my skin's doing but yeah so that's all from me I'll see you guys next time bye guys